Lycopene, how compound is it? And how can we also process any tomatoes to enhance their health benefits? So in this video, I will share with you what lycopene is, its health benefit, and how you can also process and eat tomatoes to optimize their absorption. Lycopene is a secondary metabolite that falls under the carotene group. So it is naturally produced in the plant to protect them from environmental stress, such as harsh weather, microbial attack, or pest infestation. They are responsible for the red and pink colors in some fruits and vegetables. So apart from tomatoes, lycopene are also found in watermelon, pink grapefruit, and also in papaya. But the most abundant dietary source of lycopene is a fruit called gag, which is native to Asia, and it has this uh, spiny external look, okay? And also, lycopene appears in smaller concentrations in asparagus and in basil. Guess why lycopene is good for our health? Because it can support our blood pressure by arresting an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme, which is an enzyme mainly responsible for initiating the constriction of our blood vessels to demand the pressure needed to pump blood into the arteries. Number two is a powerful antioxidant, which means that lycopenes can protect us against fever, the cows, and also oxidative stress. Number three, lycopenes have been shown to protect the prostate and also help shrink and enlarge prostate. Number four, lycopenes can help regulate blood lipids like triglycerides and also and cholesterol. Five, lycopenes have been shown to also protect against diabetes because they are able to arrest the activity of enzymes responsible for breaking down carbohydrates. Number six, they also have anti-inflammatory properties. Number seven, lycopene also have been shown to have anti-tumor properties because by being an antioxidant, they are able to uh, protect you against oxidative stress that can lead to the formation of tumors in the body. And lastly, lycopene have been shown to help enhance the expression of detoxification enzymes in the liver. So with all these health benefits, the next question then will be, how can we process and eat tomatoes so we can enhance the accessibility and bioavailability of lycopenes. So bioaccessibility is how much of the lycopenes in the tomatoes is available for digestion. Okay. And in tomatoes, ly lycopenes are mainly uh, found in the peel compared to the pulp. Okay. And the peels are tightly packed structurally. So what we need to do is break down the peel so we can enhance the release of lycopenes from the peel for digestion. Okay, so we can cut our tomatoes or we can blend them. But a further move that we can do to enhance the release is to introduce heat. Okay, and that is a, a game of mass energy transfer. So when you introduce the tomatoes to heat, you are increasing the structural breakup of the peel and the pulp. Okay, and also you are enhancing the permeability of the peel and the pulp to digestive enzymes during digestion. This is why consuming tomato paste releases four times lycopene than consuming raw tomatoes. Take note that the consumption order to enhance the release of lycopenes during digestion is tomato paste, tomato sauce, and raw tomatoes. Okay. And also, I want to stress that tomatoes have other nutrients like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and some minerals. Okay which are very healthy for the body. And these are uh, phytonutrients are not stable at the temperatures at which uh, tomato paste and tomato sauce are produced, okay? So please take note of this and make the best choice for your needs. How about bioavailability? So bioavailability is the ability of lycopenes to be absorbed into the body after digestion, okay? Lycopenes are fat soluble, okay? So it means that they are better absorbed into the body when consumed with fats like avocado oil, coconut oil, or olive oil. Okay, so let's see some good combinations. If you have tomato paste, olive oil, meatballs, and basil, what can we do with it? Mm. Oh, I think we can have spaghetti sauce. That would be a very good combination. And also, if you have a uh, tomato sauce, fish, and avocado oil, what can we do with it? I think we can combine it into a sauce and then I have it with mashed potatoes or couscous. That 
how to be good <laughs> okay so in case you are eating salaki and you have tomatoes uh, as an addition please don't forget to add olive oil or avocado oil to your dressing okay to enhance your absorption of lycopenes in the tomatoes so there you have it with uh, tomatoes and lycopenes guys subscribe to my channel and let's go together okay i'll appreciate that a lot okay so i uh, keep making smart food choices okay and see my next video bye bye for now